You know, every day we have plans, purposes, designs, functions, necessities, needs, cares, worries, anxieties. <laughs> the full gamut of human emotion that goes on all in the morning. Because, oh Lord, in the morning will I direct my prayer and will look up. But Mostly, people want to rush through the morning. There's the morning rush hour, the morning wake up, the morning this, the morning that. But the Lord didn't rush into his day. He took the time to get away before the sunrise and allow the gentle breeze of the early morning speaking of God to come to him, to give him his comfort and his realization of the knowledge that God has laid out the day in its time and place for him to accomplish his purpose that he was sent to earth to do. And likewise you, did you know that your life was created as a purpose for God to use in such a way that he would cause you to be a vessel of honor? Or a vessel of wrath? Really, one or the other, because it's up to you. You don't have much choice because God's in control. So whether you're a vessel of honor or a vessel of wrath partially is dependent upon you. So. Today, I would prefer to be a vessel of honor. So, let's just say you're a vessel of honor. Well, you know, you, you usually self-polish and self-clean, you know, and you get yourself all cleaned up and get ready, and you go, okay, God, I'm ready to go do, okay, what, what's that? Okay, I'm God. And we don't take it the same pace that Jesus did. He wasn't in a hurry. He knew what was going to happen because he asked. Each day, he did only those things that he could do in a day. He didn't plan out way down the road into the future. He just did those things that God told him to do. And each and every day, he got up long before sunrise, spent the time he needed to be with the Lord, and then went on about his business as doing his Father's will. So you see, there is an example for us to follow. There isn't just some pie-in-the-sky religious idea that we have that we say, oh, well, you know, we got these weird concepts that we need to, you know, spend some devotional time and we need to do this and we need to do that and I just don't have any time to do this. Yeah, you do. <laughs> but the question is, will you? And the choice is yours. Will you spend time with your father or will you go about your own business to do and to will of your own good pleasure? Or the fathers today in God calling nature laughs I come I come you need me live much out here my sunshine my glorious air my presence my teaching would they not make holiday anywhere for you sunshine helps to make glad the heart of man it is the laughter of nature live much outside my medicines are sun and air, trust and faith. Trust is the Spirit and Son, your being enwrapped by Divine Holy Spirit who causes you to be lights as He is light. Faith is the soul's breathing in of the Holy Spirit, and that is His life that's given to you when God breathed into the dust and it became a living soul. Mind, body, and soul need helping. Welcome my treatment for you both in all of your ways that whether there be two of you or one of you gathered together, I am in the midst of you. Draw near to me. Nature is often my nurse for tired souls and weary bodies. Let her have your way with you. With you. Because you see, in every day, we can choose to run away and run our way and run today to any way that we choose except for it to be His way. And His way is a walk. We walk with God. We spend time with the Lord. We choose at times to abide and to give thanks for the day the Lord has made by looking about us and recognizing those things that He has given us. Not just to be a part of our lives, but to appreciate the fact we are alive, to appreciate that God is real, to appreciate today is the moment that you could be in direct contact with the living God. And because Jesus is that real, and because the Father is that desirous of you, 
we ought to participate with him in all of what we do and bring him his involvement in everything we see touch and feel because it has come from him he is directing you today again as a vessel of honor or a vessel of wrath as one who knows god or one who talks about god the reality is where you put yourself in his hands he is at work and he is moving and he is doing in you to accomplish with you through you about you and around you all that he has designed the question is really will you participate with him and recognize that he is in you sometimes that's hard and sometimes it's easy and sometimes it just means be still